Kawunga, y'all. Captain Beardo here with my good friend. Wow, man. How are you? This video is going to be doing the unboxing slash toy review of TMU Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze, Super Shredder, and the guy who played Super Shredder was Kevin Nash. So I figured, why not make this a two-parter episodic video where there will be a part two on his channel. And so that's why I have him with us right now. He's going to do some kind of commentary overlay of the figure that relates to Kevin Nash from WWE or just wrestling in general. And yeah, let's get into the video. So we here we have the figure in the box. We got the poster right in front. We got the Nickelodeon logo right there in the corner. Very nice artwork. It's literally just the rip off of the poster from the Secret of the Ooze movie. If you you can open it up because it's just velcroed, and you can see the figure within. And you got a nice picture right there of Super Shredder or Kevin Nash and then you got the figure within and the nice window box packaging you got his weapons there you got the TGRI canister you got the extra hands and this guy is just a behemoth nothing much at the bottom besides the people who worked on it right there in the barcode there's the side just a nice VHS style for the figure with a picture of the figure and the turtle team ninja turtles to the secret of the use logo on the back we can see some product shots of super shredder looking very menacing with the canister we got one of them facing off with the four turtles also done with the figure style and then one with him with the spear at the bottom it says what he includes a cape, spear, mutagen, canister, and seven interchangeable hands. That's a lot of hands. Then we got this side. Another product shot. And the logo as the other shot. Nicely done in the VHS style. And then the top. We just got the logo of the movie itself. And it does say warning, choking hazard. So don't let your kids get a hold of this collectible. Now let's get opening. So here we have a wide grip hand. Look at that. Another wide grip hand. Sorry for the lighting. Oop. A nice texturing. It's definitely like a dark dark skin tone mutated it looks like really like creepily it's creepy hands but there's the wide this one hinges down and up respectively if you want to show and this is the right hand and the left hand is the exact same wide open grip so you can have him kind of focusing on the turtles and like Wait, 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 with his hands up. Really cool. That's cool. Next we have a closed fist hand, as Wildman is showing off right now. It's really cool. It's not completely closed. It looks like it's a spear holding hand. Same skin tone. And you can even see like the fingernails right there. And like all the wrinkles. It's really molded really nicely, like really cool. Absolutely love it. And this one also hinges up and down like the other two. Another hand that is open hand for the spear and it does hinge up and down as well. So we get two spear holding hands or rope and holding hands with the fingernails and like creepy wrinkles and things like that. Two wide open hands, 
Very nice. Good. Good. And we get one canister holding hand, it looks like, for the left hand. So that way you're able to hold the canister and all the hands move up and down. No, no, the dice motion, sadly, but that is how it is. Now you got the spear as Wild Man is holding up right now. Very cool. It's really long, as you can tell by him showing it off. Nice and shiny metal right there. Look at that close. I like the symbol or the the blade itself. You got like the nice silver wash right there. You got the brown and then you got the tip molded really nicely. Absolutely done wonderfully. And last we got the TGRI canister. And I have Wildman holding things up, so that way you can kind of see them in scale with how big they are, but we got the Mutagen Canister, or the Ooze Canister, that says TGRI, because in the second movie, it was global instead of cosmic, which is really cool. And it's just the TGRI on both sides. Like so, but you got the green in there which is really cool and as a comparison I will be showing off the two canisters together and I will be showing off Super Shredder with regular Shredder from the movie and Shredder from probably the cartoon line or whatever shredder I have at home but that will be at the end of this video and it will be in a different location because I did not bring those with me at this moment but really cool and here's the hand that looks like it holds it just snaps right on so you're gonna have him holding the canister really cool really cool <laughs> and now as a size comparison you can see Wildman holding up Kevin Nash or Super Shredder in his wonderful glory. He's got a lot of, he's really tall figure, so he scales really well with the four turtles. The paint job and the sculpting is absolutely phenomenal. As I'm zooming into his face, you can see they've even sculpted in eyes underneath the mask and painted the eyeballs so you can actually see. As he's going, ooh, from the crazy um, ooze that's coming out. You can see nicely painted helmet and like nice and it is sharp so be careful with that. But really nice, all very well done paint wise and sculpted. You got the shoulders, all the blades on the shoulders. Got his like shoulder guards really cool like in that metallic paint job then you can go down to his like actual costume nice and purple with lots of black lines and white lines to like showcase his muscles like he's a bulking figure like he looks more than a wrestler he does look mutated then you can kind of zoom down a little bit you got his crotch area which is just his underwear or Shorts or whatever you want to call them from wrestling or whatever. Guys legs with like the nice drawn or sculpted muscle details right there. And they got his shin guards. Really cool. And you even got his toes. Done in the wrapping style of Japanese figures and things like that. Here we have the side of him. You can see him. Just his profile, it's excellent. You got his bicep artwork and all that stuff, triceps, all that jazz, leg muscles. See all the way down, even this side of him, just amazing artwork all around. And he does stand pretty decently. He is a little bit top heavy, but that is to be expected from a mutate creature of the Shredder. And if you look 
He he has the two closed fisted hands right there. Next to the sculpt. See the wrinkles, all the fingernails. Really cool. Here's the back. There's the top of his head. See it's kind of the treadmill from the original shredder. Got the neck with the cape. Got the nice cape, nice and flowy cape that you can wrap around underneath, which is nice. It's nice and silver and black. Hopefully the art the lighting is showing it off good and does glisten a little bit, which is nice. Nice and sparkly. And if you flip this over, he has you can see his back muscles. He is strong. Got his butt, his belt, his back of his legs, and his ankles. And over in the corner you got Wild Man staring at the figure as well. <laughs> Let's get into articulation of this behemoth. And as I'm articulating, if Wildman has anything to say at all, so, don't feel free to speak up. Um, from what, how, how much I, I collect, this is one of the nicest action figures, collectibles I've ever seen. So many points of articulation, right? Yes. It is really good in, in so many ways. So his head, try and get him to sit down a little bit for you guys. So his head, can you look up that much? He has a joint right there at the top that allow him to look down that much as well. Swivel side to side, and it does hinge. There's a neck joint too that allows him to look further down, like so, and further up, like so, and that also can kind of swivel, so you can kind of have them going la 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 as you want. He's got joints in the at the armpits that allow it to go all the way up that far, which is amazing. Go down all the way down, so it go all the way around. He has five swip swivels right there, actually. Yeah, he does, but it's hard to move because of how bul bulbous his muscles are. He's got a single drone right there that can bend in and swivel. And he's got another one closer to the um, glove portion that can swivel as well. And you can swivel it around. So he has a double bubble bend. Which is really cool. And then his wrist can swivel and go up that much. To the hindrance of the, of the blades and can go down that much. He has an upper ab swivel. He can move around and some packaging to note it does come like awkwardly like this it's not the deco you can just move his his stomach the way you need which is really nice so you can have him turn that way turn that way kinda swivels right there or hinges right there no, no ab crunches or anything like that just cause of how much muscle he has and like how bulbous he is he has a same in the waist. He can he can turn his waist all the way around, things like that. He can, you can bend it forward and bend it backward too, and just helps with easing it and like doing what you need with. So you can swivel it. Just be careful because it is like the centerpiece, so it's a lot heavier and a lot more dense to do so, especially because of all the muscles that he has. You got his legs that can kick up that much. Be careful with them because they can pop off, but you can just pop them back on. And they can move back straight back that much. He can do crazy splits because he is a wrestler. 
He's got swivels at the top of the knee. He's got double joints at the knee. He can almost touch his butt with his foot. No boot rotation. And his ankles can go down. They can go up. He does have nice ankle pivot. So let me get this guy in accessories. Standing with his accessories. And if Wildman wants to speak or get him as set up as well, he can do so. And here we have Super Shredder with his accessories looking menacing. As you can tell, he is amazingly posable and can stand easily. His cape just flows wonderfully. You got his nice spear, the TCRA canister. It looks menacing. And then you got his hands. And in the background you got the nice box poster, which is really cool. Anything you want to say, wild man, during this time of me showing him off? Well, thanks to you. I think I will love to purchase one myself. Thank you for, for opening up it for me. Of course. And now, let's have him stand alongside another Kevin Nash figure. We're going to just do one for this video. If you want to see another comparison, you can watch it at on Wildman and Beardo's channel for more talking part two of this collaboration that we're doing. But yeah, here's a Kevin Nash figure from WWE wearing his NWO shirt. As you can see, he is he's your average height figure, a WWE figure, but compared to the Mutant Shredder, or Super Shredder, you can just tell how massive he is in height and everything, how much makeup that you have to assume that they put Kevin Nash through. And again, these two characters are actually the same person, or actor anyway. Fun fact for you guys. And here's the underneath of the figure. As you can tell, he does have peg holes at the bottom of his feet, but other than that, they are pretty much flat. Here we have both of the shredders right next to each other looking fearsome and as you can see we got Super Shredder lurking over just regular shredder so these are really well in scale with each other which is just amazing to see and you can tell that, like, in the movie, Super Shredder is about, probably about three feet taller than a regular Shredder, looking at it. But yeah, their size difference is, ma is majorly different. Color scheme is different, but that's probably just because of uh, it being the second movie. And then even the capes look a lot different, too. Like, the mutated one doesn't have as much. Shine as the original. So there you guys have it. If you if you like this video, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and ring that bell. Remember, part two is on this guy's channel. Hello. Oh, should I say goodbye? Goodbye. Farewell.